welcome back to Took's Craft Table. I just want to come and share with you what I just did um, on Etsy. I just updated a few um, journal, I, not journal, uh, paper update, and I did not print all of them out because <laughs> because most of them are marble paper, so they are really beautiful paper, but. Um, I just didn't want to print every page out because um, at, at this one, at the end of this um, printing, my printer just went wonky. So, um, so I stopped there, and then maybe not such a good idea to to kill the printer head. So, I just want to come and share with you a few um, a few uh, kit. Uh, that I just uploaded of, uh, the past couple of days and here are the it's a pattern paper in fall theme and I just thought you know if you need a paper to do some fall collage and and want to show you how it print out so the kits include 16 different um, paper and uh, yeah so I I think it's like a really good uh, paper doing collage right now it really gives me fall feeling so just and then just want to show you how it print out and yeah so and just want to do a quick one show how it print out so beautiful and this is when it start going crazy with my printer but it's still usable you can use it to backing you know, um, backing the page or something like that, and yeah, it's really pretty. I really love this one. Maybe being Asian, right? I'm more um, uh, toward uh, what do you call gravitate to <laughs> Asian pattern and and stuff like that. And yeah, so you will see a lot in my in my kit. And this is some. Um, a book and page um, that from old book that I pulled out and um, just make a size to fit so you can use it to to back or uh, back your book your journal page or use it for collage I think it would be really nice collage paper as well as using as an end page you know if you are looking for a nice paper to put in your end cover and this is um, would be really nice. And this one, I think, is set three. It has some um, Christmas um, tree and Christmas pattern. If you are looking making a Christmas journal, you might want to get this kit. And this one, it's also like I think pretty Christmassy, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so I should go like this because this is the how the pattern go anyway. You can see it. It's gonna be really nice for collage paper, I think. And this one, unicorn. If you are making like a, a fairy tale or fantasy book, that would be really nice to cover. And these are more um, abstract and. And I really love these. I think this would be really good um, wrapping paper. I know I I really love classic pattern. They're really pretty. So that's kit. Uh, that's set three. I think set three of uh, book and page. And. Uh, this is set two. I just want to show. I love this one a lot. It really like we have like Thai tradition um, line, uh, not line pattern, kind of similar to these. And this one, really pretty color teal, and this nice. I am going quick. I just want to show with you how they all print out. These maybe look blur, but print out really pretty. 
and this one is another really pretty one and this one there that is really pretty and then going to my monthly collage kit so usually I have a 16 sheet per kit for the collage sheet and this is called September Blue so I really love these because <laughs> get to work with my my favorite color And I use these graphic from the Digital Curio. She has the commercial license uh, of um, a graphic in her shop. If you want to check it out, if you are a digital maker, um, so you can check that out. And um, yeah, she has so many selection to use. They, the, all the graphic from, from her shop. And I love this one. Oh, thing, but um, I got the uh, what do you call the uh, the mask uh, pattern um, behind here? It's from Things by Lee. I think she's um, had some. She's from Vietnam, and uh, her shop's on Etsy. I'll try to link her shop as well. She also has some. Um, she also sells a uh, graphic for commercial license use for any um, digital artist can use her 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 art because I, I had a we had a communication back and forth about uh, how I will use it and she she said yes and uh, I gave her the link and to check it out if I follow her rule or not and yeah so and I'm happy to share her link with anyone who wants to add like a uh, some cool graphic to their digital to their digital work. Yeah. And this one is a blue tone paper. I just love this so much. It's remind me of the uh, Florentine paper pattern. Whoops, sorry. I kind of print on a recycled paper there. And this one, I love this page so much because the tone, it really like uh, have a sepia tone to it, uh, same as this. So I, ha I haven't tried to print on vellum, so that's what I would, would print on vellum next to see um, and use it. I think it would be so pretty. These would be so pretty on vellum, I think. So is this, yeah. This is like a really dark, dark indigo. It may look black, and some printer may come out as black, but but it is um, it is uh, indigo, dark indigo. This one, yes, it will look so pretty on on vellum. Yeah. So and. I just put on in my shop. It's called Make uh, DIY um, Fun Random Label, which is I'm excited about because I just um, put a kit together so that you can make your own. Um, well, not make your own. You can print the label on any type of um, paper that you that you cut to size um, on your printer. So let's. Uh, the kit will come with uh, two collage ephemera, so that just give you uh, some kind of base that you can print on, print out to use for collage or whatever. And come with um, the label combined with the label. So the, if you don't, um, how do I say? If you don't want to go hassle, you just print out this page, and uh, yeah, this will be the page that, like this, the label is made from this sheet, and same as this, this one, the label is made out from this sheet. 
So you see how the look of it, right? It's pretty cool, I think. And then I have um, also, if you want a smaller label, you could, um, how can I? I don't have a coin around me. I can show you the size, but uh, this is, uh, I already made two per page for you so that this is how it print out. And then it will come with a PNG file. If you just print out the PNG files on a blank paper, this is what it will look like. And you can print on label sheet, uh, label paper, you can print on anything. And here on is a sample that I print on a different paper for you. This is the Atlas index paper that I cut out to a letter size paper and I print two per page on this one and you can see you will have like a space um, along here and later on what I do I have some stamp like a stamp so I go in sorry my my camera just got shut down. Um, so, so I go in space with the stamp and fill it up with the blank space, and then that I got. So this is the printer, and this is the ink that I stamp on. Now you full you filled up the stamp, and same as this. This is the thicker paper on the Atlas. Um, uh, index and then here's the music paper that I cut like a really old vintage antique uh, music paper that I cut to size and I put through a uh, printer and I stamp in the space that it, it was that has space right so I just want to show you a different paper and this is a thinner paper um, that I put through and then it no problem going through and my printer just went wonky with the line which I already fixed so yeah so I just want to show you like and then this one I just print on a blank paper and then after the print out and I just go in with um, ink I ink the uh, the whole thing so not pure white and then I just put a little stamp on and crazy make your own stamp right so that's and then you can cut it out later again this is the print out like that just a actual size so I can show you how the you know the actual side label will print out so basically you can use any paper that you have and just print label on them because um, it will give you the PNG file and this is just a blank blank sheet it could be label paper right so if you want a blank label and you just print it out and ink them and do whatever you like with them yeah so that's that's the do make your own label um, so basically you have a nice interesting paper you can you know and if you don't want to go through all the trouble fussy cut and all that kind of thing I even make make it for you <laughs> I print out and cut and I add in some label that I have in my stash I just put in like a this is like a small tin I made this tin with like um it's not Altoid but it's kind of like um imitation of Altoid um box so I I cover it with uh, at last paper uh, on the side and in the back it has my um my shop uh, sticker and then um, the top I just collage uh, with fun things and um, this um, inside I fill to the brim <laughs> I fill the box to the brim um, I have some well tail tab in here 
I don't know how many. I just grab, grab. So I don't count any of these. And these, this was um, mostly from Tracy Fox uh, Love Jung Jono when I was doing her design team. And I have a few left. So I just thought I'd add it in here. And in here, mostly um, uh, the label from my shop. And some, some interesting label that I got from AliExpress. So I don't know how how much, how many of them in here. Tons. Like the box is full. This this is from cute little label from AliExpress. So like like small label that I cut up, and then you will get some vellum sheet and some sticker from also from Ali. So this is like like tons you know you probably have a lifetime supply for label here <laughs> so and that, those are from aliexpress interesting paper and and some that i cut out i stamp and cut out from book page and that's made from book page book page book page yeah so i like a french uh books that I stamp on and cut out or some yeah so lots and lots and lots of labels so I couldn't I couldn't imagine and you know so I just stuffed them into each box and um, so but mainly my it's the my label that I made and sell in the shop so I just have a lot of them yeah so if you don't feel like buying the digital and cut it out like and you think that like, you know it's a hassle to have so I put the um, shipping uh, in flat rate but if if I ship if I pay for less I will refund it if the ref if the different is more than two dollar US because um, if less so than that, if less than two dollars, I I don't think it's worth of of sharing. I mean to to send the refund back because SC fee charging for refund flat fee, right? Like so, I think it's like two almost one fifty fee. For Etsy to charge, so it's not worth to to refund it. But but usually they it's about it's about uh, these to ship a uh, small piece like this. Anything it's thicker than two centimeter, you have to pay as a parcel. Not cannot be a little size, like a thickness, right? This is like th three centimeter. So and that's why it's expensive. And then if you combine. Uh, shipping and I will refund the, the the shipping so don't worry about that and also like just remember take advantage don't forget to put in your coupon code please please when you buy digital um, because I will not allow <laughs> to make adjustment on your purchase anymore because of you forgetting your code <laughs> Because it's not fair, right? I mean, SC charged quite a bit for refund and any processing fee that need to be adjust. SC charge. Just keep that in mind. I want you to get a good price or good, good value for for your money. And I also don't want to go broke <laughs> because I want to keep continue to do this. And yeah, so I hope you will check out the listing. And uh, oh, and I just want to share with you that every tin I seal after all the collage and all that, I sealed it with the clear spray paint. So it should stay, um, I wouldn't say waterproof, but I don't think it will get destroyed uh, so quick if you drop some water or something on it. But that don't. Don't quote, don't try to spill anything on it just to prove. <laughs> just yeah, because I I get nervous because it's inkjet 
print right I print everything on inkjet so it won't be waterproof but with uh, some spray I hope it will help help protect a little bit for the moisture anyway so anyway I am going I, I say I'm going to be quick but anyway um, thank you for stopping by and we'll see you the next video in let's uh, check in what I will be sharing and welcome all my new subscribers and thank you so much for everyone who has been following me for a long time I really really appreciate your your support and uh, yeah we'll see you soon bye